Hey guys, Stuart here. Welcome back to another Sheetify CRM tutorial. Today, I'll be navigating through the process of migrating your data from Sheetify CRM 4.0 over to Sheetify CRM 4.5. And this migration process will work for all versions of Sheetify CRM. Also, at the end of this video, I'll also show you how to migrate your data from Sheetify Bookkeeping, our first version, over to the current version 4.0. Essentially, I'll cover both of our Sheetify Google Sheets templates and how you can migrate your data from an older version to a newer version. Now, because we're working with Google Sheets, it does require a small amount of manual work of copying and pasting data across. And for those that are watching this tutorial and are completely new to our Sheetify CRM or Sheetify Bookkeeping Toolkit, what I'll do is add the appropriate tutorials down below in the description that will help you learn more about each of these all-in-one Google Sheet templates for small businesses. Okay, so let's go ahead and migrate data from Sheetify 4.0 over to Sheetify 4.5. Once you're inside your older version of Sheetify, jump over to Contacts and Leads, then simply navigate up to the first row under Full Name, click here, and drag to highlight all of the cells up until the sales pipeline status. Now, if you have many entries, you simply need to scroll all the way down to cover all your different entries. For the purpose of this tutorial, these are the only 10 entries that I have. Once you've selected this data, simply right click and click on copy. Then head over to the new Sheetify CRM template. In our case, this is 4.5. And again, navigate down to contacts and leads. Then navigate across. Again, click on the first row under full name and right click, locate paste special, and then click on values only. And that's gonna add that data in here. Now, what you wanna do in the updated Sheetify CRM is navigate over to settings and make sure that your settings are correct. Again, just make sure your type, source, team, priority, sales status. If we navigate across, make sure all these entries are the same and also under tickets. Okay, so let's head back to our older version of Sheetify. Next, what we're going to do is navigate across and this time we're going to click on the first row under value and again, highlight all your data up until the last status change column. So here's my data. Again, right click, select copy. Again, navigate over to the updated version of Sheetify. And here we are inside Sheetify CRM 4.5. Again, click on value, the first row, right click, paste special, and then values only again, and your data will be added. Now the only manual addition you will need to do is to select your invoice sent and invoice status. This is the only part that requires you to jump between the older version and the newer version to make sure that this data is correct. Then once you've done that, head back to the older version of Sheetify. Then the last column we want to copy is this column here, but we're not gonna do that right away because we first need to add our products and services inside of inventory. Okay, so let's continue migrating our data across. Navigate over to customer snapshot. We don't need to do anything here. Sales pipeline. Again, nothing is required here. This data will be automatically updated. Sales calendar, we do not need to touch. And then we have client tasks. And here, all we need to do is copy and paste our client tasks across. Again, highlight all of these columns all of your entries, and this time we can copy the entire sheet. So again, copy all the entries from the first row under client tasks. Once you've highlighted all this data, right click, copy, navigate over to the new version of Sheetify, and then locate client tasks. And again, under the first row under client tasks, right click, paste special and values only. And just like that, the data will be added. Let's navigate back over to the older version of Sheetify and then continue migrating our data across. Let's click on client calendar. Here we don't need to do anything. This is automatically generated inside our new template. Email templates. If you've made any changes to the email templates, again, all you need to do is copy, right click, copy up here, and then special paste values only in the new version. I haven't made any changes here, so I'm going to navigate across. Again, with dashboard, we don't need to do anything here because this data will be automatically generated. Like I mentioned in settings, make sure your settings are the same in the new version as the old. Next, we want to navigate over to purchases and we need to follow the same process. Navigate up to the first row under purchase items and copy the data here up until the column received date. Right click, copy, Head over to the new version, navigate down, locate purchases, then under purchases, simply right click. 
Under the first row again, paste special values only. Head back to the older version, then do the same for purchases quantity over to received quantity. So copy this data here. Remember to highlight all your rows, right click, copy, head back to the new version, and under purchased quantity again, right click, paste special values only. And as you can see, it's as simple as that. We want to do the same with unit cost, status, vendor, and notes. We do not want to copy and paste data into these blue columns because these have formulas. Under unit cost, let's head back to the older version of Sheetify, navigate across, highlight, right click, copy, head back to the new version of Sheetify, come down, unit cost, right click, paste special values only. And then we just need to do the same here, head back to Sheetify CRM, the older version, and then copy this data, right click, copy, then in the new version, right click, paste special values only, just like that. And we want to do the same with inventory and transactions. Let's head back to the old version of Sheetify and then navigate down to inventory. Here we want to copy, highlight this data here, the first row under items all the way over to initial stock. Copy, head to the new version. In the new version, come down to inventory and under items, right click, special paste and values only. Then just like I showed you, you want to copy and paste the values only in minimum stock, then sales price and cost per item. Then navigate across and add notes if you have those notes. So you want to do this, the same process I showed you by copying and then pasting special values one, two, three, and four more times under inventory. I'm going to quickly go ahead and do that now. And as you can see, I've quickly gone ahead and added those additional values by copying and pasting the special values. You can see the blue columns have automatically generated. Now let's head back to the old version of Sheetify again, and then navigate over to transactions. Here we want to copy the first two columns. Again, highlight all these entries, right click, copy, head to the new version of Sheetify, and then navigate down to transactions, and then under the first row, right click, paste special values only. And as you can see, the columns with the blue, the data is going to be automatically generated. Head back to the older version, then copy from quantity through to date one or lost, right click, copy, head back to the new version, come down, right click under quantity, paste special values only. Then navigate across and follow that exam process for sales pipeline, as well as assign to sales owner and then notes. I'm going to quickly do that now. And as you can see, I've quickly gone ahead and done that. Now the last tab that we want to focus on is tickets and issues. Simply head back to the old version of Sheetify, then navigate down to tickets issues. And here we want to follow the same process. Copy, head back to the new version of Sheetify, then navigate down, right click and paste. Head back to the old version, come down. And what we can do this time is under ticket status, copy all this data all the way across to notes, right click, copy, head back. And inside the new version under ticket status, right click, paste special values only. And congratulations, just like that, all your data from Sheetify CRM, the older version, in our case 4.0, has been successfully migrated over to Sheetify CRM 4.5. For example, if we navigate over to our dashboard, you can see all the data has been automatically generated. And if we navigate over to, let's say, sales pipeline, you can see the data here has been automatically generated as well as total transactions completed, which is a new feature. And then customer snapshot, all this data has been automatically updated. Oh, and one last thing, if we navigate back over to contacts and leads, remember we want to paste in this data now. To do that, head back to the older version of Sheetify, then navigate over to contacts and leads. And now what we can do is copy this data, right click, copy, head back to the new version, and then paste that data in here by clicking values only, special paste. The reason we want to do this last is because we've now added the data from our old version to new version in terms of our items, products, and services inside inventory. And that's it. Now let's jump over to Sheetify Bookkeeping and show you how to migrate your data from the old version of Sheetify Bookkeeping over to the new version of Sheetify Bookkeeping. Okay, so I'm gonna open up those templates now. Okay, so here we are in the new version of Sheetify Bookkeeping 4.0. If we navigate down to Setup, we first want to set up our new template. Make sure the currency is correct, as well as the start month, start year, and then navigate across and add your profit goals, as well as other information like your business goals, and then notes, resources, and links. Then all we need to do is add our income categories as well as expense categories. To do that, we can simply copy and paste just like I've showed you. Head back to the old version of Sheetify Bookkeeping, then simply come down, highlight the data, right click, 
copy, head back to the new version, come down, right click, paste special, values only. And you also want to do the same with expense categories. Then once you've done that, all we need to do is navigate over to income. And as you can see on the new version, we have zero income elements in here. Simply head back to the old version of Sheetify Bookkeeping and again, navigate down to income. Then under date on the first row, simply highlight all the data. Make sure you've highlighted all your transactions. Then right click, copy, head back to the new version, come down to date, right click, pay special values only. And you can see net income will automatically be generated as well as the totals up here. Then what we want to do is follow the exact same process with expenses by simply copying and pasting your data from date through to fees, just like I showed you with income and then navigate over to tasks. And here you want to do the exact same under tasks, simply navigate across. And on the old version, you just want to right click copy. And then on the new version, simply come down and paste values only. Again, the exact same process I've just showed you. And then all your data will automatically be generated and added to all your different dashboards. Then navigate all the way over to balance sheet. And again, you want to follow that same process under balance sheet by simply copying and pasting special values under current assets on this line here. Again, right click, copy from the old version and then paste special values only in this new version. And you want to do the same with all of these different categories inside of the new version of Sheetify bookkeeping. As you can see, it's really straightforward. It's the exact same process. And again, you want to do the same here. And that's it. Just like that, you've successfully migrated your data from the old versions of Sheetify to the new versions of Sheetify CRM and Sheetify bookkeeping. If you have any questions about this process, make sure to pop those down below in the description and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you're interested in learning more about each of our powerful Sheetify CRM toolkits. If you got value from this video, make sure you subscribe and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care, everyone.